Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source, your best source for the newest Atari games and my best source. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be playing two Atari 7800 games from Muddy Funster, who is in the chat. We're going to be playing. Uh, wait, no, I got it. Wait, 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 I got to oh, do the pause. Thumb. We Hold do the everything. I do the thumbnail. <laughs> There isn't we that, go. Isn't that the thing? Open that mouths, the... catching flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got to do that. <laughs> it's the popular uh, in some, thumbnail to in do. Some yeah. YouTube shows, I've actually seen them do that. Oh, let's do the thumbnail right now. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, so today we don't do the thumbnails. I hate them. I hate them so much. <laughs> oh my god. I I just give I, you the I'm game cover. I'm not sure cover. if I'd say hate, but despise when I see them. Yeah. It, makes me less likely to click play me too because yeah. they are relying but i'm not feeling the... hatred at the time i'm just <laughs> oh, like hatred mm. uh they, they, they try not to... to judge too harsh because it's like i know they why only do they're it doing because it. it works and so I am know. i gonna say no to the thing because they're doing the thing that works like then i miss it like is it good and you're always trying we always end up talking the about gaming these, the system uh, <laughs> we always talk about the. we often talk about the youtube thing and like how whether they're gaming us or it's I'm it's very tricks. relevant and it's very interesting so Artie is inspired by hero we're going to be playing Artie oh. today a brand new updated version of it and also bernie and the Tower of Doom. It's two games from Muddy Funster. Lewis Hill is in the chat, ready to answer your questions about these games. Um, but first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, of which there Sorry, are is the Tower many. Of Doom. Is the Tower of Doom doomed? Doom. Because Bernie's there burning it up? Is it? Is Maybe. It, oh. it could be doomed could if be. Bernie doesn't rescue oh, okay. what's going or, or fix what's going on in the tower. So it could be Bernie's fault that the towers are doomed. He didn't initially make them doomed. Oh, okay. But if he fails to do what he's supposed to, yeah. Right. It could be Bernie's fault. Could be. <laughs> let's, let's make that not happen <laughs> today. Uh, let's thank the Twitch subscribers who are scrolling down beside Darcy, who's currently driving me crazy <laughs> with his apple crunching but he's hungry what are you gonna do starve a darcy you can't starve a darcy <laughs> you, can. Uh, you can but it's you don't a terrible thing to. to do <laughs> for a dollar a day <laughs> you can send an apple to darcy uh a cardboard box aldefer uh, andrea atari arkham h7 arms card coder atari 800 xl rules atari 1974 atari h darts maxima br pocock buffalo pinball Charles donnie mount charles wheel and chitlala curl patch colonel lamba cure neckline cubanismo dianoid dan abc drexel dr moo cows gamma dev glenn main great offender ground trooper Ho uh homebrew homeboy one ivory tower collection jedekai johnny wc kabuto kenzo carl g ken jennings invader croco 2600 gvelter lambda express lundy dz mark yannis mark space inc metal atari mick muse mike soul michael tell mass command <laughs> miss um, mk smith mother three mr zarno mr fix muddy funster <gasps> deal meet a nostalgic Pack Rat Dave, Prow 7, Koag, R. Anchuitz, Raymond CRC70, Render Ghost, Repower to Pim, Broadcaster, Sledgehammer, Spitty B, Spiceware, Spinley, Esmeralds, Teleprompter, Testin Rocking, T Flock, The T Train, Tiki Dan K, T Foes, Token Muncher, Trek MD, Vexor X, Fitoko, VVG Double Down, X Ken X. That is the most subscribers we have ever had. I think it was about a half an apple. On the show, on I think that bite. Possibly a. Oh, during the reading. <laughs> but see, the thing about the apples is I am eating an apple, so it would be dishonest if you couldn't hear it. It would be like, what's going on? Is he really eating that apple if you couldn't He's hear it? He's fake eating it. <laughs> He's so silent. Um, this is the most number of subscribers we've ever had. It's now over 75, which is the threshold at which artificial I said... Artificial threshold. I would... Artificial threshold. That you said. We I, didn't say anything. I think... That the I think cats the that I said... The gist of it is that we have all said... The cats said, said it. It's we. You just keep doing <laughs> Me it and my bugs. Um, <laughs> where it's getting pretty long. Let's just say that. It's getting long. I don't know what to do, though, because I don't have numbers on... Or any way to indicate new subscribers. Um, Twitch doesn't do it like that. If there's, They do send you a date, but the date seems to be like when they first subscribed. So I don't know what to do. On like It's a long list now. And I'm making it longer by by discussing it too. Um, <laughs> okay, so rationally speaking, yes. Later, you can go through, see how long it took you 
to do the list and add to that the amount of time you spent talking about it and then that this much is a, extra. This is a time invested discussion that to alleviate future time. Mm -hmm. But if anybody uh, updated Darcy filter, I, I mm -hmm. could I could record the apple chewing, inverse the wave, and mm -hmm. have an apple detector, and it will somewhat. Except I can eat it with a different, a different tone, crunch different. texture, That's crunch true. like uh, That's true. profile. Yep. Record the spiel. Uh, it changes every time, so recording it would just be me sitting here while we wait <laughs> for the spiel to be done, which is much less interesting. Um, if you want to support the show, uh, you can subscribe by hitting subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime and not free without it. Noise cancelling Apple headphones. If you wore noise cancelling Apple headphones, would they... <laughs> Forget that. That's dumb. Uh, that's really dumb. That's super dumb. I, <laughs> it's so dumb. I, I, I stopped mid. I'm bitter at you for making me laugh at that. <laughs> oh, you laughed. I missed that. <laughs> Yay, you laughed at dumb things. Uh, I have a poll for today. It has nothing to do with video games. It has everything to do with me. It has nothing to do with that chocolate bar. It's just, I was pointing out this chocolate bar probably won't be loud enough for you to hear. Thanks. God. But I'll try. Because I have a mental condition <laughs> that makes me crazy with noises. Oh, it makes you crazy. I think it might be you're crazy and therefore the noises bother you. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it could be one or the other. Do you have a tattoo? Do you have a tattoo? I don't. But, I do. and Darcy does. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to even. two of them. Oh, I have to catch up. <laughs> I am getting one. Uh oh. I have booked the appointment. Oh my goodness. It is next Thursday. Next Thursday, I will be tattooed. Oh my God. So, <laughs> uh, I'm getting it for my 50th birthday, which is coming up shortly in a couple weeks. I thought, yeah, why not give myself a present? Um, I've always thought is this I would never get one. Uh, if you know about it, don't say anything. If I might have told you about it a little bit. I don't know. No, this is okay. this is all coming at me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I've I've thought about it for decades. A tattoo, um, but I always had the concept in my <clears throat> mind of if I got a tattoo when I was whatever twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, etc. What would I have got at that age? And would I have still liked it at this age? Oh, that's not as much fun. <laughs> what would I have gotten then? I'm just going to get it now, and then I can tell people I got it when I was 18. Or... No, 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 no. And I probably would have got a tattoo that I would be like, eh, I'm not so happy with anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would have changed it now. And I don't, now have, it's I don't have any regrets. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> Um, so, you know, I've thought about it for a very long time and one I was kind of settled on for quite a while, but then I've changed it and, um, it's similar to the one I thought I was going to get. So at this point, I'm like, I think I'm okay with it. What I'm going to get now. Uh, can they make new tattoos look old? Uh, I bet they can just use like really Fady blue. Ink. Just go out in the sun every day. <laughs> yeah. Put some nice <laughs> uh, some, coconut some oil on it. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> you know those things in the window of corner stores, and they're just straight up blue. That's what your <laughs> tattoo will look like. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna be getting one very soon. Um. So I don't have one right now. So I would say no, but I want to get one. Um. <clears throat> Tanya has a very nice tattoo. It's huge. Uh, mine's not going to be as big as hers or probably as nice yeah hers is really nice um so i have to catch up to tanya as well um so it's next next thursday but i'm not going to tell you what it is i'm going to make you guys guess where it is and what it is now the chances are you're going to guess where it is because there's only so many places on the human body um and i'm going to give a ZPH sticker, of which Darcy has not seen, um, to the person who guesses, I'll mail it to you, guesses where on my body 
And Darcy gets a couple of these because I don't have to mail them to him. There you go. Darcy gets stickers, stickers, awesome. stickers. There you go. Matt stickers of, not made by Matt, but they're matte instead of shiny. Uh, ZPH yeah, they, stickers. These are, these are great. Um, the first person. Uh, them being matte makes it so much better. I love matte because you can take pictures <laughs> so of it. It's not like, oh, I got to readjust it. There's sun shining on it and it's blinding me. I just love, love matte. And most people don't use matte, so it stands out. Yeah. Uh, anyway. First person to guess where. We already have one body. guess. Uh, they're wrong. It's on your bum and it's pixel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pixel. Um, and I will give 10 stickers to the person who guesses what it is. You won't be able to guess it, but, um, you don't count. You don't count. Don't guess. Um, and, uh, the guesses will to continue so I, over the next shows until that I show great. off the tattoo. Yeah, that's, 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 that's awesome. Yeah. And I won't guess. No, um, I can't. But when... When I got my tattoo, yep. there was a series, like, I th I did not think it all the way through. <laughs> what? Beforehand. <laughs> what What didn't you think through? The design? So it was like, I thought it through, and I was like, I was like, just, yeah. Winging I it? Not, I was just <laughs> winging it in a lot of ways. Okay, so I'm not talking about what I got. I was okay. I was happy with that. Oh, okay, okay. But my placement? first thought, I was like, oh, getting a tattoo, am I the type of person who would get a tattoo? What does that mean? I, Is that okay I, I for me? I didn't think you were until you got it. And I was like, yeah, oh, you got a tattoo. Because I'm not like super, I'm, I'm not like, it's not like super heavy on my identity. I could have gotten, <laughs> but for no. whatever reason, I was like, okay. Couch you know. compliant logo. It's not that. But when <laughs> I got over, funny. like decided, almost like a, the moral question of should I get a tattoo? Because oh, this was like yeah. in. That was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. It was now like in it's the like early 90s. If you don't have a tattoo, you're weird. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so common that it's uncommon to not have one. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, so I've decided that I will get a tattoo. And then I was yeah. like, this was all premeditated. This was all fine. Then I was like, <laughs> premeditated okay. Tattoos. I was like, oh, but I don't have, I was broke. Yeah. I was like, I don't have, you know, like $200 or whatever yeah. it is. Whatever it was. I can't honestly remember. Probably that's about right. Um, uh, to get a tattoo, you know. Um, and then that was solved I... because uh, my parents, for whatever reason, gave me like some cash uh -oh. for my birthday or something which was not normal and i was like haha you're gonna regret this you know which Guess I, what I used it for i love my parents i loved them then the, the, there was no malice in it but i but i right. did think haha you're not going to approve of what i do with your money <laughs> it wasn't rebellion no it wasn't no, rebellion okay. yeah uh mischief i guess that's probably um, the worst reason to get a tattoo is rebellion and then and then so then i was like okay I, you know and i and i picked the design that was part of it and then i got to the the um the uh par parlor and this is the part that i had just i i knew there was something in the back of my eyes i'm forgetting something and i get there and it's like oh i forgot this is supposed to hurt and then it was <laughs> <laughs> i completely forgot oh. but it was going to be like because it was a much bigger decision do I have the money and do, right. am I going to get a tattoo? Or will I regret it? Right. It was, a, yeah. And so I, I sat down and I was like, almost, Good almost one. like taken by surprise. Like, oh crap. I, I, I had forgotten about the pain part. And it was like <laughs> about two, two, two and a half hours of agony. Like really? Agony. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Tanya said hers was pretty fine. Well, mine it was, was on a shoulder blade. Okay. And Not, like when it's over top of a bone, apparently like, that hurts more. Like right know. where the bone yeah. is. Okay. And this is the second one that I got. Canada. <laughs> What's in the middle of that, actually? It's is it a, a microphone? Armored fist. <laughs> it's a... Uh, because nice. I, was, I was in the reserves in the in armor. So that's tanks. Oh, okay. And the symbol is an armored fist. Anyway, so that's Very, very was. cool. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to say what the other one is? Oh, it's Scud the, the Disposable Assassin. <laughs> He's a comic He's book a character. Comic book character. Yeah, very mm -hmm. cool. We're both very into comics back then. Yeah. <laughs> and they're still awesome. Yeah. Um, so let's see what people think. Oh, no. Our our, uh, our demographic is, is skews a little older. So uh, no is 81% and tied for yes and no, but I want to get one. Uh, nine and nine. So uh, about 18% of people uh, have one or want to get one. I'm in that group. Oh, you said 9%. 9% so, each. Okay, I thought you meant 9 votes each. And I was oh, like, no. We did that would be a lot of votes. <laughs> I was like, 
I was like, if nine people, you mean a hundred people voted? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Just happens to be hundred percent. Not related to the tattoo. I guess you're. Uh, you guys are the only in in the room where you stream for streaming. This is my office. I am in this room like almost all day long. <laughs> So this is my office where I work as my main computer, but it has all the video game stuff too and the light set up and this awesome thing as well. Um, I noticed that Sprite really gets anxious for those treats on all streams now. So they know when they know when the, the stream is happening when I start the the pokey music up for sure. That's when they definitely know. Can you, Sprite, can you get down from there? Come on, come down. You're a bad cat. Um, Okay, so nobody has guessed where it is or what it is. Uh, where no, no, it is someone is... guessed. Oh, they guessed. They, they tried to guess. Arm and bum. Arm and bum. Arm are... and bum are taken. <laughs> They're wrong. Dollar zero zero would be very cool. Sumerian? No, that's wrong. C zero one zero four 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 on the nape of the neck. Nape is wrong. Uh, okay, uh, the bits. That's a. That's a. I like that one. I don't. I don't know how yeah. true it is, but. It's... Uh, store. Uh, w sync. That's a great one as well. Uh, very Atari 2600 STX. That'd be awesome as well. Uh, Hello World. That's a good one as well. Um, zero page logo. Zero page logo. That's a good, uh, guess. That's a good guess. Nope. Not <clears throat> chest. Um, keep guessing. Keep guessing. Like there's only so many body parts. It's not like super, super specific, but it's fairly specific. It's not like armor leg that's it's like part of the arm part of the a leg testicle part not of left testicle that's what he means like by not being super face specific. isn't specific enough it'd be yeah left it, it, <laughs> um i'm not gonna go that specific what side of the body which testicle that's yeah. too specific <laughs> uh, i like the hummingbird a joystick idea. That'd be a good that's, one. that's a good one I hummingbird like oh that would be really nice yeah hummingbird on her left arm That'd be really nice. Is it your best personal best score? Uh, a pitfall on the ankle. I think thrust has a good idea. You could get a tattoo on your joystick. <laughs> on my joystick, and then it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's right. I mean, it would hurt I your you joystick. Think talking about something else. No. <laughs> <laughs> Too um, obvious. <laughs> not ankle. Uh, soul. 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 Foot. Oh. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say close for ankle, because it gets very it gets a little bit more specific than ankle. Yeah. Uh, Achilles trash. tendon. <laughs> not allowed to guess. You're not allowed to guess things. <laughs> that was it. Someone guessed the Achilles tendon. I can tell it was it. It could be my toes. Could be. <laughs> <clears throat> but it is close. Close to uh, close to the ankle. Uh, nobody's won yet. Okay, we're gonna move on. Uh, <laughs> Wade? What's a Wade? We'll have to... Side of your leg near the shin. Oh, like that area. No, that's not correct. Still close. Uh, uh, Thrust might get it if we know what Wade is. I don't like that I can't play the game. I, my brain is all like, rah, this, rah, that, rah, 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 and I don't have to type it. Well, so what you I do, get why it's not right for me to participate. Store but. it in your brain, and then I can confirm it, because somebody's going to get it. Okay, we got to move yeah, on. But in my brain, about, I'm just uh, guessing all the body parts until I <laughs> claim like them all. Hair, eyeball, forehead, ear. He's just working his way down the body. <laughs> Okay, so uh, keep keep guessing. You're very close. I don't know why you've stopped guessing. Um, don't you want stickers? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants stickers. Yeah, and we can't say, oh, they're really shiny, because they're, they're not. They're not shiny at all. Um, so there was some distressing news uh, a couple days ago on Wednesday. Uh, VHZC posted in the forums, the entire age forums, three posts. Um, and the post said, um, this project has been cancelled, this project has been cancelled, and this project has been cancelled on three of his work in progress games. Mm. I ran 7800, uh, Night Guy and Low Res Royal Castle Days, Ninja Sky 7800, Perilous Island, work in progress. With no further information. And that is very unusual. And kind of distressing because, like, there's only so many reasons you would cancel 
a number of projects at once. Yeah, yeah. Like something happened or something has upset him and there are reasons <laughs> that something could upset him. There's lots of things that have gone on. Calf? No, nope, not calf. Eyeball shouldn't hurt. No bone behind it. <laughs> uh, not tribal tattoo. Nope. And none of the video game suggestions so far either. Um, so I... Um, and he also removed his his icon for mm. his name, which which is also super unusual. I think he removed his icon because I was pretty sure he had one um, based on, you know, some of his uh, drawings. He's a very good artist. Um, so I reached out to him that day, like right after I, I um, heard about it. Um, Thomas um, let me know about that. And he let me know that uh, really it's not a big deal. I lost a lot of source code, and I decided to take a no, hiatus to consider if it's... No, oh, thank you for resubscribing Atari 800 XL rules! 12 months! It is awesome to be part of the community. Glad you are part of it, and glad we are part of it, too. Uh, decide to take a hiatus to consider if it's worth trying to remake those games, because if you lose the source code, you have to start from scratch. Or, brutal. Yeah, that <clears> is absolutely brutal. Uh, uh, make new games or simply not make more Atari games for good. Just a guy considering his hobbies. He said, this is a hobby for me. And even if losing some of those games and some items of my collection for a little flood on my storage is not great, it's not devastating. But trying to remake the lost games feels more like a chore than a fun thing to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can feel that. Yeah. Uh, time uh, can change that. Yep. But like, definitely, if I'm working on a thing, <laughs> and, it's and then it destroyed, and it's, and it's destroyed, <laughs> and it can be, it it doesn't have to be something like like if you're like both making sank. a game, like if all was, that yeah, work. If I was work, yeah, like whatever it is, it's a, yeah. but it doesn't have to be that. It can be something super simple. Like yeah. I'm playing a video game, and something happens to like, your, like say your, your save, file. save file gets yeah. corrupted. I'm just like, no, well, I, I, <laughs> I'm done with no, this. There's game. no way. Like but you put later, in 20, I, 30 hours. Yeah. Later, I could go back. Yeah, because you forget the pain, and you're like, I like that game. I want to play it some more. And and I've lost data, too. I had a huge crash in 1997 where I lost literally everything on my computer because I didn't have a backup, which was stupid of me. Um, you know, I've heard, yeah, I should have a backup, but I'm like, ah, it's fine, whatever. And from then on, I've had backups and backups of backups. And I have mm. data at Darcy's house, actually, away Which from my house. Which almost burnt to the ground. Uh, yeah, very. <laughs> yeah, just check out the other uh, video for information on that. <laughs> <sighs> but that's the backup. I would still have it. And yeah, then I yeah. would just give you more data yep. <laughs> afterwards. Uh, and we've had that, like with our store, we have... Um, Mm. We have the store database, and we've had both. We've had the headquarters crash, and we've had the store crash, and thankfully they each count as a backup for the other. Yeah, exactly. In I mean, a weird way. Setting like, things up again is a pain, but at least the data is um, yeah, just got the data. unrecoverable. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, then he went on. Um, he said, "I'd like to try my hand at Sega Master System or Genesis or maybe PC too." But using some weird and limited language like QBasic or making a game using only primitive shapes instead of uh, draw sprites or some other limitation like that just for the sake of it. We'll see. I will maintain my previous finished games on the forum, but I will clean the posts. There are just too many demo ROMs when it should be the last uh, release candidate or finished ROMs available. I was in the process to clean those posts when I discovered the damage. Mm. Um, his release candidates might as well be finished games. I have, uh, over the many years that I've played VHC games on the channel, um, we've never run into a bug <laughs> in any of his games. So he puts up release candidates and is like, I don't know, it seems finished to me, but he tweaks graphics and things and things that you don't find out about. It's just his, his talent is absolutely astounding. Um, and then VHC came into the Atari age, uh, discord channel yesterday, um, after, uh, my conversation with him and he wrote, hi guys here, ju just with a pair of PSA messages. One, Climate change is real. Two, having your backup server and your originals in the same room uh, doesn't count as backup. <laughs> no, you have to have it off-site. I mean, mm -hmm. my backup's not off-site, my immediate backup, but it's... I don't know, the house burned down, I'd have to be here to run out with it. Uh, it's, it's, I just have too massive of a data, but I was working to get one with Darcy so we could, like, exchange data. I haven't 
had time to work on that, but it'll mm -hmm. get there. Just over the internet, like incremental updates. Um, Andy said, I also lost code for the PC version of Slideboy I was working on by yesterday in a conversation as an example of new things I could try my hand as a joke. I suggested maybe PC too, but um, but using some weird... Well, this is this thing he said to me. Um, do, 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 uh, in a conversation as an example. That was a conversation with me. Um, doing one on the PC. And he says, well, today I have some free time and one thing led to another. And then he posted a video. And let's take a look at this video that he posted in the Discord. There's no sound. I don't think there's sound. Maybe there is. No, there's no sound. So, a PC version of Sly Boy in Maze Land. All right, actually, just uh, Sly Boy. Oh, oh, oh gonna get it da, da, da. awesome background it's like sketchy and um really really cool looking so it took him about uh one day <laughs> for him to get back to programming he's a programming machine <laughs> he cranks out games like nobody's business uh he's so good and just looking at the graphics on here it's um it's so nice so i'm glad he is still programming um He's a little dissuaded from making Atari games at the moment um, for one reason or another, but uh, hopefully he will return to that so we can continue to show his awesome games on the channel. Um, and then this morning in the Iran thread, he returned to the Atari Age forums and posted this. Um, Hi guys, I appreciate the concerns you have expressed, but really, uh, things are fine. There was a little flood in an area of my house, mainly affecting my storage and game room, that affected some of the items in my collection, but nothing too much hard to recover. A couple of 65XE, an MSX, etc., and some hardware items that I used to maintain the backups of the source code for a lot of my games, which I only discovered when I wanted to recover said backups after uh, uh, system operating operating system uh, reinstallation and really just the loss of source code that stings the most and donations or other types of help aren't required nor necessary but i greatly appreciate the gesture people are saying oh i can donate anything you want uh, to, to replace the things you've lost but he, he's not interested in that i simply canceled these projects because i currently don't have the time or energy to remake those games from scratch and i don't I uh, like to have those unfinished ROMs posted when I know that I will never be able to finish those projects. I will maintain posted all my finished projects and those where I still have the source code, but for now I will take a hiatus from developing for Atari systems and focus for now on other systems. So again, thanks for your concern, but I am uh, fine, just a little demoralized for now. Um, so that's uh, really upsetting to hear um, <clears throat> that uh, he in had a flood and lost some hardware and some software and things he was working on it's it's really uh really distressing in fact so hopefully he's uh doing better um follow-ups from uh the last show about the popeye 8-bit version that we played um we had a little difficulty with it and i was wondering why so i reached out to the developer about it um because it was just loading up and then you saw it for a second like the game and then it went pew, went away and I loaded again saw for like half a second went away to blank and couldn't see anything on the screen so and that's it, not enough you need more than a half a second <laughs> yeah to, it's, it's not to fun to assess the game and yeah. to play and enjoy and get involved like deeply invested in uh can my <clears> room <throat> get flooded uh yes yep. uh this is below ground uh it would take quite something <laughs> we are at kind of a top of a hill yeah so I was just going to say, like, like you could totally get flooded, yeah, but you are at less risk because We're not the, the flood bottom. would have to be positioned to, like, aim at your place. Yeah. Like a flood from inside the house. It's coming from inside the house. Yeah, if there's a leak, like, say, in the building. Uh, <laughs> yeah, backups it, of the stickers. I'm home, like, almost 24 oh, hours a day, so it would have to be, like... Too. Trying to get my stuff. Absolutely <laughs> devastating. And I would be here to just fix it 
except when you're not run here. out yeah when i'm not here flooding yeah do i have backups of the stickers um uh i guess the company who made the stickers retains a backup uh yep they could print more uh so yeah it could get flooded but it would take something just astronomical to do that and my backup of my data is about six feet in the air <laughs> so it would take a ton of water just an um, incredible amount of water to do that um but we do live in a rainforest so um well we live where there used to be a rainforest <laughs> yes <laughs> so it appears his game or my system it wasn't his game or my system oh it's not posting that oh i see so we will deny that so we don't have to look at it Yay. spammers um so it wasn't his game or my system but it was actually my retro tank that was having trouble upscaling 624i output which is a crazy number um it has no idea yeah. what that is yeah um because of this he's he built in a progressive scan into the game that you could select so it would switch to something <clears throat> that my retro tank could recognize i didn't know that uh, it was in the thread but i must have missed it uh, um so he let me know about that you just press select button and it switches from the interlaced uh, into the progressive scan um the retro tank 5x and even the 4k version that's coming out does not recognize this it's not work with 60 624i um but he let me know if i install the sophia 2 into my atari 8-bit it will uh he says uh software switch to generate a proper up to specs interlay signal for synchronization so it manipulates the signal and outputs something that the retro tank knows about and understands so output to a crt is fine with that because crts are like yeah give me whatever you got and i'll just go bleh, 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 and spit it out onto the crt line by line it doesn't care i don't know if i'll get a, a sophia 2 for my system i probably not talented enough with a soldering gun to not wreck my own system but it's something <laughs> to think about for the future you don't have to use the output of the Sophia 2, just it being there manipulates the output oh. to look good. Audio is not in sync. Uh, well, let's fix that. Um, that's very strange. It might be you. Okay, it's you. Reload. <laughs> um, and he also let me know that there's a new beta version of Altira that actually works better with his game. Uh, and I downloaded that, and it works 100 times better, so I didn't show off his game to any good capacity. But luckily, it's just work in progress very early. You can't really even play it. So I'll be playing it again in the future, and it'll show much better on the stream. So I just wanted to update that, that it's not his game. He has built in things to take care of all that. Uh, fine here, too. Only much lag. Lag is fine. <laughs> it doesn't. Like, you can't tell, really as opposed to like just typing things on the screen and then it comes up. Okay, <clears throat> next news item testing the Atari uh, 2600 plus with homebrew and there are some there is some testing being done by Al from Atari age slash Atari. Um, so he posted this uh, early in the week. I just grabbed a bunch of 2600 homebrew games that I built, including three PAL games and one PAL 60 games. They all ran. This includes uh, Juno First, Starfire, LEM, Ladybug, etc., uh, etc., et A Star, I'll read them out. 20, 2005 mini game Multicard, Go Fish, Colony 7, Trackball, Drive, Cannon Ed Clash. These are not surprising that they work because they are they conform to a lot of things already on the list for the 2600 plus that work um he says the pal games all ran with proper colors which was nice to see it was kind of a question mark about pal games though mm -hmm. here's a few uh photos excuse the mess we're in the middle of packing as we'll be moving soonish Ooh. so there's a big pile of games um there's panky the panda awesome platformer go fish juno first amazing shooter um lem multi-game there they all are uh juno first is a pal 50 it ran fine but the colors were wrong which makes sense since it's a basically an ntsc game with the wrong color palette um so i checked the uh compatibility list that atari has on their website it has not been updated with the homebrew so hopefully it'll be updated soon with even more that's been testing 
Um, the question, how is the 2600 reacting to bus stuffing? I, I, it won't. I don't think it will. But um, I don't know. It depends on how the bus stuffing is done. The bus stuffing doesn't rely on real-time reading from the cartridge. Um, then it should be fine because it is the Stella emulator running on the hardware. So if it can read whatever is you want to run off the cartridge and it can run on Stella, you're good. So that should be the answer. Um, I wonder how Ladybug looks like. It might have a hefty flicker without phosphor. And I don't know if you can break into the Stella emulator at this moment. They haven't talked about that as far as I know. Um, but supposedly you should be able to plug in a keyboard to the USB-C port on the back. And it controls like a computer. Right. And you just do whatever you want like a normal computer. Huh. Yeah, Stella can do bus stuffing. Um, so it should. I trust can confirm that. So that my, my supposition is probably correct. Um, and speaking of Thomas. Comes up in conversation a lot. He's just up to no good. Um, his game is coming out in the Atari Age store at PRGE. Bot and Tom will see its physical release this year. Here's a preview of the box created by Atari Boy 2600. <clears throat> Amazing artwork. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It personifies the game. So awesome. Look at the um, red car in the bottom. Red slash orange. Um, I think it's orange. Yeah, it's orange. Uh, freaking out. Because <laughs> that's the that's kind of the harder one. Because you can't make that car jump without jumping the top car first. So he has a much harder time. Such a fun, fun game. I'm glad it's getting a release. I think it's going to be a big hit. Especially if it's being demoed at the Atari Age booth which I'm sure it is. He's got a massive, massive booth. Esmer says, I really like that box art. And more importantly, the game. Yes. Um, so, yeah, really looking forward to that and all the other games that are going to be at PRGE. And just before PRGE, I think I'm going to make a big list of all the games, including other Atari games. All the kids are going by, <laughs> going to school. Noisy every day. <laughs> And uh, read them out so everybody knows. Muddy Funster Meow. <laughs> uh, this is on my list for PRG purchases. S. Ramirez. Yeah, very good one to add to your list. It is time for the games. It's enough news. I know. I'd lab it's on. enough news. But there's so much things to talk about. So the first game we're going to be playing not, it's is... It's not a genuine complaint for me. Just to no. be clear, yeah. Um, so, RT... Uh, this is an exclusive work in progress. Might be the final uh, demo release before it gets released at PRGE. Might be one more demo to go, but I think this is the final demo. Money Funster can confirm this um, for the Atari 7800. Um, this build is from today. Final demo, not the final build. Okay, so some things may be updated, but this is a good demo. For everybody uh, to check out, this is going to be posted after the show, sometime after the show. Um, it is a 256K a game. And uh, info from Lewis is, this is the new public demo that I'll release after the show. Artie has had a <coughs> lot of changes since the last version you featured on the show. Some very subtle, some quite obvious. So let's boot this up. Get this going. Got Artie here, ready for the second game. There you go, Darcy. Let's switch over. Let's switch over to the 7800. There we go, and I've updated the cart art with the uh, box cover, which usually it reflects the box cover. So let's load it up. And the dragonfly. The bits, loading the bits. There we go. Public Demo 3A NTSC only released the crack in September 2023. Demo recommended for use with Atari 7800 emulator 5.2 or better, 7800 GD cartridge, Dragonfly cartridge, which we're playing on, Mr. 7800 Core, Argon emulator, or JS7800, which is the JavaScript web 
Uh, compatibility issues, BUP system, various glitches, pro system based emulators, just no. <laughs> it's so ancient, just no. Uh, concerto, ROM size uh, until the add ons are released. Uh, doesn't work with uh, Hokey. Ah, Hokey issues. Uh, Backbit Pro, another Pokey issues. Other systems, emulators, your mileage may vary. Press the button. Pokey detected. Save device detected. So we do have. Oh. I don't think there's any voices, but I'll turn on the speaker anyway so we can hear that. Arty saves. So good. Uh, and the Pokey. Uh, press the button. Muddy Vision. Great. Ooh. Nice logo. That's very good. And, and the button once more. And uh, Lewis said, let the music run for a Nice. Brand new, awesome music. Yes, we're playing this through the Dragonfly cart. Oh, Bernie has a new tune. Well, it's good to fucking like, play. Okay, so... Um, this is a loving tribute to Hero, um, and I find it even better than that. Let's do this. Arty Charter MV7800 en route to South America. Press fire. Have you played this before? Okay. One oh, this, oh, I, I You played I Hero, Hero before? Yes. Okay, so same controls. One button for shooting, and the other button to lay the dynamite. You so, oh, oh, the other button. So go back, lay the dynamite. Run! There you go, oh. you got it. Up to fly. Yep. And it's much more responsive than Hero. You don't have that um, delay. Probably MP7800. Shoot that big ass spider. Um, collisions improved on Egypt spike walls, to be accurate. What? What happened? You rescued him. You made it to level two. You have to rescue the other uh, explorers that you may recognize them. They, um, they, they seem fairly familiar. And um, there's a spider and there's a wall. There you go. Spider. Uh, two new traps added. They start to appear toward the end of the Aztec levels into the Egypt levels. You guys got it. He could be. So far, the people I've rescued have looked like they should be rescuing me. <laughs> exactly. Now you got the good equipment. Uh oh, you ran into the light. A little hint on this game always stay to the left hand side when going down um, because then you don't usually run into the lights. And usually, you want to go down the side that is more challenging to get to. Uh, no. Yep. There's no light. Nice. <clears throat> uh, laser code. You can no longer shoot enemies through the walls, because we were doing that last time. See, if you are going down the right-hand side, you would have knocked the light out. Oh, careful, careful. Uh, what? Too, too late um, oh, was there a light? Yeah, you knocked out the light. It's still going to be dark. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh! Snake got gotcha. you. out of the wall. And when you run into characters, um, they usually die along with you, so you don't have to worry about them the next time. Went down the right, down the light. Very troublesome. Oh, snakes. Yeah, you don't have to shoot them. But you can. You get points for shooting them? Uh, yep, yep, you get points. But I think you get more points by just going fast through the level. Oh, those are lava walls. Anything Ooh. red, so don't hit them. Don't explore things. <laughs> That's right. Don't explore dangerous things. Oh, so that was dangerous. 
walls in the middle of nowhere. I think that one was on the So you can see the enemies. What does this mean? Oh, did it get you? Uh, but just barely see them. You can blow up the lava walls. Terribly was that a lava sword? Wall? Yeah, it was a red one. Uh, Terribly sorry, old bean, but we've run out of A suits. Jolly good try, though. That means game over. Use a bomb. Yeah, you can use a bomb on the thin walls. And this will register. And we're also, at the same time, competing in the high score, homebrew high score, Atari Award homebrew high scores. Um, so your score is 20,131. And uh, Dan is keeping track. Oh, a bomb will light up the area. Okay. But you do lose a bomb, and that does count towards your points at the end. So I have some more to read out, so get some more practice in. And then I will take my turn. Um, I'm going to do worse this time. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> That's how it works with me. Well, it's good First to, time uh, watching. Yeah, usually that's the case. I find that is the case a lot of times. With so first time you're not caring as much. You're just, you're just like, like hey, just going with it. Oh, thing. like the thing, blah, blah, blah. Next time you're like, I have information. <laughs> and I have to concentrate. Oh, I'm thinking too Don't much. Don't do a thing and therefore. <laughs> uh, laser code. Beasties on the other side of the screen should no longer randomly die if struck by a laser. Bug fixed after your, after your beasties. Dynamite can be used on any screen, not just screens with a wall. Oh, I never tr tried that. I don't think. Um, so that goes along with what Muddy Funster said in the chat just there, that you can use a bomb to light up the screen if you're in trouble. If you're like, I don't know where to go. I don't know where things are. Snakes can no longer be killed when hiding or not visible. Happier snakes. Lots and lots of code op optimizations. Lots. Uh, Egypt Fuse Flicker. Fixed to use correct colors. Oh. Dynamite code completely rewritten. Dynamite is now more efficient when exploding. And dynamite now kills beasties and walls. And beasties through walls. I did experience that when I was just testing it out this morning. Yeah. I'll always go through the wall. Sometimes not, but like 99% of the time, yeah. You do have to stop to lay the dynamite, I think. Save that indie explo independent explorer. <laughs> um, bonus score refined to be a little bit more generous with remaining dynamite. Okay, nice. The Kraken has been released. Uh-oh. Danger. Danger Krakens. Uh, jetpack sound effects now sound more jet-ish. Jetpack graphics now completely replaced with new animation. Oh, yeah, very cool. Yeah, with the um, lava walls, you have to get close, but not too close. Oh, you weren't hugging the left hand side. That's it. Run! Ah! Artie can turn in tight areas now. Change facing. Oh, nice. Ah! Running too fast. It's a lady. Oh, Who's I see that who it is. Crofty lady there. <laughs> it's very, She's very crofty. Was it, it was, I'm impressed with how uh, crofty that was. Yeah, I, you can recognize them, whoever they are. It could be Jill or any name. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, you ran into the light. Oh, oh no! No! Back up! Spikes there, watch out. There you go. Uh, also, Artie, you can plug in your Atari box or save key to save high scores. Artie looks for this on boot up oh. and displays it on the screen. Uh oh. Sort of dead end? Yeah. Oh, I see. There you go. Ah! You're getting too, too, too speedy, too well, anxious. I didn't get a higher score than my previous. You did? 3270. Um, you can also optionally use an SNES or Mega Drive controllers as Artie also looks for those and supports them too. This means you can pause from the controller and you can use button C on the Mega Drive, X or Y on the SNES con uh, to control the jetpack. 
Again, Artie looks for these enhanced controllers on boot up. These might be good features to show on the screen. On the screen. There's a third area, but that won't be featured in the demo. Oh, it's my turn. Actually, it's your turn, but we're going to try out the SNES controller, which I have here. I recently bought this, the Super Advantage SNES uh, joystick controller. Any resemblance is purely coincidental. Uh, that is correct. We know that you were, really, you were really making uh, a pixel uh, person uh, that was Daisy Duke, not... Uh, <laughs> that's right. So here's the SNES uh, to um, 7800 adapter that ships uh, with Attack of the Petsky Robots, 7800 version. Ready. Press the button. Oh. Oh my god. It's dialing. It's doing some Please more. press the button. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the button. Which uh, button? I think it's B. Now oh, that shut that up. Three plus button pad detected. Ding. Muddy vision. Okay. Go for it. Press the button and start. Uh, uh, they changed the button. <laughs> okay, so one of those is fly. Oh, not up. X and Y. You can use up, I think, oh. in addition. One of them is uh, the dynamite, and one of them is the... Boom goes the dynamite. That's right. So try the fly, the X and the Y. Nice. Are they both? <coughs> no. Excuse me. Just one of them. Okay. Awesome. Works well. Good job, money. Ah. <laughs> You're diving into the, the creatures now. See, this is what I mean about <laughs> That's right. how I, I get worse. Yep. You're getting too... You, it's like That's it's what a combination of like overthinking and or overconfidence it's it, yes i think it's the overconfident i'm going to speed it's that's what happens both. to me because i get overconfident in my abilities and i start to speed through the level and and play it too close to the edge and i'm like ah i could just uh, whip through this no problem i think i can fairly say that the fact that it's a new joystick it does have part yeah, that's uh, true does have some uh, contribution. That is true. It's the inverse Darcy paradox. The more he plays, the worse he gets. The, it, <laughs> it, that's a real thing. That's a real thing. Like the first time I do yeah. a thing, I am way better at it. <laughs> like typically speaking. Oh, I don't know if you want and to then go down I get there. Worse. Always go down the hardest one. Actually, it worked out pretty good. Well, not there. Oh, oh my God. Trying to blow up the spider, which it's, you can. It's but it's the button thing. Oh, it's the new buttons. Yeah. yeah. I don't know that they're any different, but like. Well, they're different if, spots. I don't know if maybe. they're a different order or anything. Oh. Ah. He bit your foot. He looked like he was done biting, but he was not done biting. <laughs> he had more biting to do. I know, right? Just missed. There you go. Any more guesses where my tattoo is? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They know they're going to get free stickers at PRG, so they're like, eh. <laughs> ah, spikes! Uh -oh. Right into the spikes. I wonder which one this one would be. Probably passed, yeah. Oh, oh. my god! Was it? I, I actually should have known. Because I've, uh, 
Because I've actually been here. True. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, well, there you I think go. you did pretty good this time, though. Yeah, but not as good as last oh, time. Oh, no. I'll put your name in anyway. Oh, wrong button. Does it speed up? Nope. There we go. Okay, I'm going to change this out. I like my joysticks. But it's good to have an option. That's for sure. I'm so used to pressing up for, for flying anyway. Ready <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I f did I forget to? No, I didn't forget. All good. Let's see how well I do. I think there's 12 levels to this demo. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way. Did you lose the music? We can hear it. Oh, we did. What? Where is the music? How is there can you hear video? This, the, can you hear the sound effects? No, nothing. That's super weird. That's really, really weird. Ready. I mean, that's kind of cool. What the hell? Okay, I'm going to restart the video game uh, capture, because that's super weird. Because they're only hearing it through the mic? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's not that. But audio is getting through. I mean, video is getting through. So... Uh, well, it, it looks like the volume's turned all the way down, isn't it? Oh, how The blue bar happen? is all the way to the bottom. What the hell? Well, that's a much easier explanation for it. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen, though? Yeah, the mic was the only thing picking it up. I could see it. Oh, I could so see weird. it bumping the, the the general mic a yeah. little bit. But yeah. Oh. Thank you for letting me know. And it just like happened out of the blue when I um, disconnected something. But uh, anyway. Thank you. It's the cats. 100%. Cats, you're not even close to it and you're still bad. <laughs> it's because they haven't been given treat time. I think that's the issue. And they can control the volume slider with their mind. They have telekinesis. Telekinetic powers, those bad cats. Yeah, in the studio, we have uh, the audio playing through the television, um, but at a very low volume so that it doesn't like interfere with the, the volume of the captured because it, it it's inherently going to be off. Even if it's off by a millisecond, you're going to get this kind of reverb sound. So we tend to leave it as low as we can so that we can just hear it. So when you hear it faintly, that's why. Oh, I knew you were going to be there, Snakey. Hi, Tari. How are you doing? Are you starving? Jedi cats. Yep. I knew it. I knew they had special powers. They don't reveal too often. Oh, I think we need some noodles. Some love bites? Totally makes sense that that would happen. 
Um, I'm a little uh, concerned about where my placement of my <laughs> tattoo is um, and the paint threshold that I can withstand. It's only, it's not pain later, it's only pain during that day while it's happening. Oh, okay. Yeah. You get to put up with uh, well, a couple agony. hours, right? Yeah. Ah! Absolutely. It's uh, yeah. I I actually got over that one by going hovering over the pit. Oh. That's okay. how I survived that. Uh, That's a good idea. Just need to move a little bit further. Oh, got both of them. Like he said in the instructions. Big spider was awfully close to you. Being dramatic with my joystick now. Slam! Ah! Well, it seemed kind of close. Nice level designs. How much has been altered since last time, but um, I did say changed a couple things. And I think that. Oh my no god. No more dynamite. Okay. <laughs> Boom, the dynamite does not go. I can't even light things up. Oh my god, where am I going? Not, not there. Or maybe there. Oh yeah. Ugh. That's, that's brutal. There's not enough dynamite. Oh, everything rescued in South America. Da da da. Da da da. James is cooking. Cooking with gas. <laughs> On your way to Egypt, which is equivalent to the region to South America. <laughs> Don't tell the South Americans. <laughs> that's right. Ah, oh, why did I just do that? Um. Just for fun, please. Oh, that's too far. Very oh much. my goodness. Um, come on, guess where my tattoo is going to be, so I can talk about it more. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it'll just carry over to the next show. Um, and the next shows are going to be just me. What oh. is happening here? Oh God. Okay. May not be the right way, but... Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's go this way. We got a snake. Just one last thing to worry about. And there we go. The wall, yep. Uh, I think I can stand on this, yep. Oh my god. I'm out of dynamite, did I? Did you use one uh, unnecessarily? Oh, did you use your laser to get by it? Yeah, and it's oh. much quicker than in Hero, thank goodness. Hmm. What's everybody's favorite version of Hero? This one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you can count this one. Um, I haven't really played the other one, so I can't really say. Everybody says the 5200 version is really good. Two dynamite, good. <laughs> I'm expecting to run out of dynamite again. Little skeletons on the floor. Need the power though. Move it. Ah. That's your last dynamite. Oh, it's such a. No! <laughs> no! I can't... What is happening? Yeah, that seems like that's actually a oh, bug. Cool. Like if you die there, you, you're, you're dead. Your game is over. Because. Because you hit the water before you can fly. In this game, it kind of brings you down. Yeah. And then 
you have to press up to start going up. And you have to maintain. wait. You have to wait and, until you're down before you press up. Yes, you yeah. do. I uh, not so sure about that then. So you have to make it through that part without dying. I don't know if I was pressing up at the moment that I hit the bottom of the descent, the auto descent. So I can't say for sure. If you restart left or right, you go, you start to drop. So if you move to the side, you start to drop. Mm -hmm. And then you could control yourself. I think that's what he, what's being said here. Play it again. <laughs> okay, I will play it once more. Um, hmm. So that's a, a good score, but I would have done better uh, because I died multiple times. So... Muddy, you're saying there is a way out of that death loop? Because um, that's a little concerning. Oh, yes. Okay, so you, you have to press up in that situation. I was just a little scared because there's spikes right above my head. Like, immediately above. So I was like, ah, uh, don't press up right away. But you kind of have to tap. Okay, just tap until you start moving up. I guess. No need to register high score. No save key. What? No save key? I have a save key. Yes, that's a good time to do. Darcy's brought some show and tell. Yay, show and tell. And it's the perfect opportunity because I'm just doing it. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've already done it. So, no, many surprises to talk about coming up in the levels. Other than it's awesome looking. And the controls are so good. Oh my God. That is oh, yeah. The Number one, the only issue I have with Hero is the controls make my head hurt. The one control where you have to you press up and there's a delay when you press up. And it's like, and it's so hard to deal with, especially in those levels where um, there's water or something below you and you have to go down and then back up again. That's just painful. Plastic bag, anyway. Getting everything prepared. Well, I don't know if you have an elastic band problem with your teeth, but it's uh, yes, yeah. it's a <laughs> controlled, definitely controlled substance. Yeah, it's a cat-controlled <laughs> su substance. They will eat it probably, or at least ingest part of it. Oh my God, what is that noise? Uh, well, there's no. Two, there's two sides to this. Oh, okay. But the only thing connecting them is magnet. So oh. if you spin it hard enough, apparently it breaks free and the other side doesn't spin. Uh, okay. Once in a while in this place, the lights dim just a little bit, and I never see them recover. So they might recover like super slowly. Like you mean in your house? Yeah. Oh. I swear they dim. Um, I never get confirmation <laughs> from somebody else. Maybe it's just me. Ah! Uh, blast the wall.
save key was not connected during last power on? Oh no, what? Controls in Hero. The controls are horrible in Hero, Muddy Punks are safe. On to Egypt. And ice cream truck. Ice cream! There's the ice cream truck. Probably everyone can hear that. down was it? Ah! So, there's a problem here. Oh no. Is the demo not going to be good? It's okay. It's not great. Basically, like I got a 3D printer. Oh, oh so exciting! Oh. And I printed some stuff, and I mean, like, you've seen 3D printed stuff. It's not all super interesting. Uh, so, for instance, in the more mundane category is these little USB uh, winders. You put your USB cable or any kind of cable into it, and then you, you wind them up, and it keeps them tidy. So it's cool, but super it's not cool. like it's not practical. Gonna, like, it's not blowing your mind or anything. <laughs> Oh my god, you made a thing that somebody else designed. Oh, I can't believe it. More things than I made. Uh, I didn't design this either, but it's just a little cooler because it's a generator. Uh, you know, there's a housing. This is I didn't design any of this housing. Somebody else did. Um, but inside this red thing is a coil. I took pictures of it, but like, there's no easy way for me to show you that right now. <laughs> And as you can see on either side, there's magnets. Magnets! Um, so, it, this is not blowing anybody's mind, but like, it generates a voltage when you, <laughs> when, you spin the, <laughs> when you spin either the coils or the magnets around the coils uh, in the magnetic field. Ah. Okay. I died on the part I died before, but... Um, but you made it past it. But I made it past it. Woo! Because the spikes disappeared above me. They didn't disappear above me last time. Which is kind of weird. So in theory... Uh, ah, this... No! <laughs> There's things that shoot. That's not in Hero. <laughs> of this isn't Hero, so... <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Oh, I shot the bloody... Anything mind blowing here. <laughs> Let's go down that side. left. Boo. Oh, God. Spikes. I feel like the uh, bearings need to be supported on the inside with some washers or something. Not too much friction. Anyways, whatever. So what, what is it What is it for? So, the, this is a generator, and the idea yeah. is that you would put uh, props, two sets of them, and they'd be like Where opposite of each other. What just happened? Oh, there's spikes in the darkness. I only have one life left. Oh my god. Not much power left. Gotta go fast. Go fast. So oh, it's, a, it's, it. a, it's a wind, gen uh, wind generator. Oh, nice. We'll show them big after. No! This isn't your father's hero, wait. Okay. Um, I did pretty good. I didn't make it to the end, so I uh, didn't get all the points. Oh, it's so far to Zed. Yeah, these ones are on too loose. They're not gonna work. Super, super awesome. We'll uh, be playing more of that. Um, on an after dark, um, not today, some other. Yeah, it was a pretty good, pretty good run. I'm very happy with that. 57, yeah, yeah. 527. What level did you get to? Uh, 11? 
So second to so, last. So you know, you, you almost got it. Almost got it. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Um, super awesome. That'll be released um, after the show. Well, after now or after the show. Don't do it yet. People will run away and play it. <laughs> do it after the show. Um, but they want to see. You want to stick around for the next game. And the next game is Bernie and the Tower of Doom. And there's Bernie right here. Oh. Bernie. Does Bernie burn things? Yes. Yep. Throws really? Fireballs. No. Fire snail. <laughs> there you go, Bernie. Rest right there. Ready. There we go. We'll make sure the high score thing is plugged in. I'm not sure if this... I don't think this has scores, so... Oh, let's show your thing off before we uh, do that. Sure. There you go. That's super Basically, cool. Basically, this is the idea. It's treat time. This is going to be... Yum, yum, oh, yum, yum. No, no, chip. Oh, okay. We'll do no, that we got to do the cat thing now. Yeah, because they'll freak out the whole time. They do not understand <laughs> English. Ooh, or trigger tea time. Really any. Thrust. Thank you so much, Thrust. Let's start the betting for the cats. Yes, kitties. Have you done the betting? Have you done the betting part? Yeah. Yeah, we did a, the version. The fake point version. Oh. Yeah. yeah, this is actual. They can bet their channel points now. Which is super cool. Start a prediction. Let's start it up. Who will win? Oh, you're teasing the cats. So you can see they can bet their channel points. Let's just switch back over uh, here. Do you want to close the door? Yep. Oh, no. Oh, Atari. Okay, you ready? Nope, because they have to bet first. Uh, Otherwise, uh, Bernie the Arsonist. Who will win the Bell Wars? Atari or Sprite. So they put in who they think will win. Mm -hmm. then and they, do we not see it until it's done? Uh, we can see it. They can see it on the screen, too. Oh, okay. Um, then they put oh, how so many... Oh, not in the chat. It's not just... In the chat. Okay, yeah, yeah. And they bet how many points they want to bet on the cats... And then if their cat wins, they get a, the portion of the bets on the other cats in proportion to how much they bet. So if you bet 50% of Atari's pool, you will get 50% of the winnings who bet on Sprite. Dan says he's got 210 on Sprite. So we've got about a minute left in the betting. Thank you, Dan, for recording the score. Who else is betting? We've got uh, four bets on Sprite. That's usually a sure thing. But if Atari wins, you get all the points for Sprite. And we've got two on Atari, five on Sprite. People have learned their lesson. They were really in on Atari for the last three shows, I think. And Atari has won. <laughs> and you know what's going to happen today? Because so many people are betting on Sprite. Atari's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it always goes <laughs> uh, oh huge the biggest bet on uh, Sprite is 19 and a half thousand points that is big oh we got about 10 seconds left and 10,000 on Atari people are still believing in you Atari they got your back they got your back and the betting is over okay now it is time to get the scores up and lay the bells Ready? down. Yep, and that is the correct. Oh, they're both off to the races. Bunch of rings from both of them. And we want to put it like right in front of the bells so that there's no tossing or anything. Oh, soft touch from Sprite. He's not quite got it. Oh, he gets it. Atari's around the bell. He's got the bell. It's still tied up. It's a good race today. Oh, Sprite is going. There we go. Atari. Brings it up to 3-3. Three, three. Sprite is going fast and furious. Atari is as well. He's lagging just a bit behind. It's anybody's race still. Oh, Sprite missed. He's missed again. Oh, a little delay from Sprite. It's 5-4 now. Atari's a bit stunned, but he brings it up to 5-5. Five, five. 
Oh, Sprite's still not getting the, 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 the ring in. He's delaying himself, which is giving Atari an opportunity to bring up the rear, but Atari's got to get ahead. Oh, Sprite barely got it that time. Atari is hungry for treats today. 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, Sprite rings just after Atari. He is pulling ahead by just a little bit. Atari rings. It's 8-8, eight, eight, but Sprite is right on it. It is game point for Sprite. Atari's 9 ties it up. It's the next ring wins. And it's a tiny ring from Sprite. It is 10-9. What a great race. That was a great race. That was good a job, Atari. Really, really good one. Good job, Sprite, too. Oh, Thrust didn't get his bet in. You got to get your bets in. And it also shows it on the screen. Who bet for who? Ah. And uh, it has a one for people who predicted Sprite and two for predicted, predicted Atari. Um, so in the end, there's a pool of 21.6 channel points for Sprite. But Ataris are going to be doled out 14,100 points going to the people who bet on Sprite. So let's dole that out right now. Prediction outcome. And Sprite won. Boom. Boom. There we oh, go. Oh, yeah, yeah. It definitely makes it very tricky to... Yeah. You yeah. can't do last second bets. Yeah. Well, you can. You have to watch your chat rather than very screen. Crazy. Party time for kittens. <laughs> Cats. So cats, let's see the cats, details. Cats, 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 Catnip cats. time. Oh, it is. Oh, 35,700 goes to Muddy Funster and five others. And uh, let's see. You can kind of. 35,000 were distributed. That's right. And so Muddy Funster was the big better with 19 out of the 21 so he won almost all those points <laughs> muddy funster won big today it's his day today wow also um muddy funster's video from last prg is going to be released this weekend so it's it's muddy funster all day every day <laughs> today so there you go okay kitties you get a reward for being so good at here's the catnip who gave it the and Muddy Funster gave them the catnip. Very nice. It's Muddy Funster all day, every okay, day. Okay, so I'll go through this real quick because it's okay. it's way off topic. But the <laughs> idea is that it's a, a wind turbine. Eh. Oh, attacking the cats. <laughs> <laughs> so this would be bolted on, not just like what? sitting there loose. Anyways, I don't really need to uh, reattach it, but uh, there it is. So it's like a wind turbine. I... And there will be a, another... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So there'd be another uh, set of three up here off-center. Oh, okay. And the, it's, it's, this, it's this neat thing that they haven't yet started to do, but when you have two sets of props yeah. off, like one behind the other, yeah. like if you have six and they're all right up here, yeah. it's worse than three. Oh. That's why they don't do, that's why they do three. Because three okay. is the best number. But if you have <laughs> another set of three behind it, then it like sheds... Like uh, exactly the, behind? Uh, no, just like off a, off, bit? off a bit. I don't know what the perfect... I don't know what perfect is. But if you put it in the middle, that works well. Okay. And then the, they will turn faster for the same amount of wind. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Because the front set uh, gets pushed and then the uh, wind shedding off of it hits the second one. Anyways, that's the gist of it. Target ran into the the hallway. He's done. Um, so what did you print and what didn't you print? Uh, this bolt I didn't print. I, and these magnets I didn't. Sorry, this bolt I didn't print. Okay. And the magnets I didn't print. But the rest of it is, Oh, and the, the copper core inside. <laughs> you didn't print copper? Didn't print that either. <laughs> <laughs> but this is all... This is all printed. Uh, that's super awesome. Um, and... Uh, what I did at first was I made a coil of just 10 wraps um, mm. to see what the voltage was. And it was like about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 volts. So then if I put 100 wraps, that would be 3 or 4 volts. Oh, but okay. I, I wanted more than... I, I didn't have enough coil. Uh, this isn't big enough to put the amount that I wanted. So the more... 
But the faster you turn it, the higher voltage you get. So if this right. turns fast enough, it'll go even higher voltage. Right. So you're kind of doing experiments now with optimizations. Yeah, because yeah. you, you have to decide what voltage you want, and you have to compare that mm. to how much wind you're expecting to get. Right. So uh, this is if you're wind looking... Or underwater? This is wind. Oh, okay. But, like, it's the same principle. Yes. Right? It's just, like, you'd use a different prop or what have you. And, and okay. you still have to figure out how big of a prop and and how big of a motor and the the size of the motor matters because um you have to go what wind am i expecting what am i expecting what am i planning for this to work what conditions am i planning for this to work under right yeah and so i have this idea that um i it's not practical but like i'm not doing practical things because practical things are already being done by people <laughs> um but i i would love to put a giant he's a theoretical windist <laughs> not a practical windist. more like doing things that don't make sense to do but would work mm -hmm. and so i have this old sailboat and i would like this is probably not gonna happen because it's kind of extreme but it's not certainly not gonna happen i'd like to put a uh, wind turbine on it that's big enough that if you are going into the wind it produces more power than it costs to push. So you you can, yes. just on the power produced by that wind, you can go forward directly into the wind, which we know can be done. Veritasium did a video They did a land, land version one. of it, yeah. yeah. Okay. But it works in the sea, too, because yeah. water is much thicker than water. You, you get much more push against water than the air pushes against And you. And why is three blades better than four or two or ten? If you put a solid disc it it's not going to spin yeah i've seen those too like like they have you like can have a corkscrew and in water you can have it turn but then it's it's limited by the speed of what's that what is that oh that might be my uh your battery yeah okay uh, <laughs> if if Beepings. if you have if you have like a, a a screw yeah it's limited by the speed of the water it'll move at the speed of the water at the most oh okay. but when you have fins like this you're you're it's a wing so you're getting lift and so it can actually spin faster than it would mm. than the wind is pushing it just like how a boat a boat that's on um foils or on wheels can sail many times faster than the wind that's blowing it it's just this thing it's it's totally legit anyways lost my notes what the hell uh, it's time. Uh, you have more? I have one more thing. Okay. And then I can uh, uh, not go back to it. Uh, so this <laughs> is, it's just a gearbox. The idea, the reason I printed this is that uh, then I don't have, I can fake wind inside. So you turn this a little bit and as you can probably see the inside turns a lot. So here I'll put the handle up here. So see there's oh, the handle. Let me switch over. Oh, there's the handle. Yep. And I turn the upper handle a little bit and the lower so it's 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 it's, it's, it's 27 it's times 27 okay. so for one revolution of this you're this killing side, your ears <laughs> that's so loud um yeah that's, the, 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 this side will turn 27 times so what this is your handle that you're turning and what is on the other side of this whatever you put in there okay um the reason <laughs> the reason i'm not attaching this to it like i tried earlier is that I put such a thick uh, core in here, coil, mm -hmm. that um, I, I can't turn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Like, um, it, it, it could turn, probably, but, like, this would have to be bolted to something and this bolted to something, where sitting in my lap oh, with no, like, okay. leverage, it, it yeah. wouldn't work at all. Anyway. Tari's back. He's taking his turn with the uh, cat crack. Anyways, mostly it's just exciting that you can take a bunch of uh parts that you print that's so cool and then put them all together and they do this and, they work. and i mean in theory you could print a plastic hub here yeah. and it would, it would i don't work. know how long it would it would definitely work for demonstration purposes <laughs> you wouldn't but you'd right. use a steel one if you want it to last right anyways it's very exciting and also a surprise is nobody because well 3d printers have been around for a long time but the main exciting thing is that i'm I could have been a 3D printer nerd, like yeah. if I'd gotten the 3D printer I tried to buy on Kickstarter like over a decade ago. Oh no! Um, 
but I'm not now because it's so effortless. It's like I oh. put the thing together, but I just like turn it on and put the code in. It's not as much struggle as it would have There's no been struggle. T- well, there was a little ago. bit. I did break something, but it was it was just that I hadn't tightened the thing enough and so it was like leaking and I ended, had to fix that, but uh, okay. Like yeah, it just works. It's crazy. So this Anyways, is <laughs> uh, Burning the Tower of Doom. Uh, public demo number two, NTSC only. Uh, this is from today. And uh, let's see. It's a 256K game. Retro X emulator is not in the list. What does Retro X emulator use? Or is it its own thing? Hmm, interesting. Never heard of that. Um, Bernie has ha- has an extensive amount of tunes and under the hood optimizations. Micro has done an amazing job with the music. So press the button. Another nice muddy vision. Let's make sure we can hear it. Very doomy music. Foreboding. But isn't the music going through and then this is just coming through the mic as a bonus? Um, technical things. Um, it, it has, it's tied to compression mm-hmm. and it's, and it's uh, ducking every time we talk or there's noise that comes through the microphone. So it goes like this. Does it compress the video? It compresses the video game music. Yeah. So Not just the video game music that comes through the mic. But oh, no, the... very little comes to the mic from the TV. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it connects, it connects the the video audio and the mic audio. Yeah. So we, that oh, we okay. can, when we're not talking, people can hear the sound effects at gotcha. full volume, the music at full volume. I got it. That's very clever. Yeah, and very necessary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also the, the music there is also limited. We're limited. It's all you know, trying to be within. This very specific range. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to keep it from hurting anyone's ears. That's weird. Very good music. Um, let's go to the options and help and check those out. Another button. The unexpected second button. Options placeholder. TIA sound effects off, low, medium, or high. So you don't need to mess with them on your cartridge or in your system. And the music off and on. No options right now. Just a placeholder. Right. Mix master mic. Okay, press button. And go to help. Credits, graphics and code, Lewis Hill, music micer, testing, S. Ramirez, Trebor, and crossbow. Wait a minute, there's no help here. We were tricked, <laughs> tricked into reading credits. <laughs> How are we gonna complete this game? Additional graphics, thanks, Dave Hughes, A164. Not sure. Is that somebody who helped with the graphics, or is that a special code? Secret. Hidden codes. Okay. Nice button. Let's do it. Okay, Bernie. It was just after 4 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. Bernie and Mrs. B were enjoying a nice cup of afternoon tea. Watch the window as you press the button. Smash. Here it comes. Smash. Because people might not have said. With a smash and a crash, their peaceful afternoon came to an abrupt end. A whiz male owl uh, had made a rather unfortunate landing in Bernie's garden. They're both surprised. <laughs> Bernie retrieved the message from the day's looking owl. It was a scroll sealed with a red M. Oh, mysterious. It could only be from Bernie's old and faithful friend, Melvin the Really Forgetful. Carefully, Bernie opened the scroll and read old friend i need your assistance please meet me at the old tower on the moon road uh come quickly melvin and there's our overview map uh there's bernie there's melvin oh trying to escape that's right there's no way no way the road's being blocked by this mean looking wizard okay well there's a sign there too read the sign the sign reads the moon road crescent tower ahead let's talk to the wizard yep 
Activate signs. I gotcha. Oh, Malvin, old him. friend. <laughs> you have to. You have to jump. You have to press the other button. <laughs> uh, Barry, so good to see you. It's ba it's Bernie, and you're late. The wizard is never late, Bradley. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Mm -hmm. Yep. Great graphics. Sigh. Yeah, yeah. You're What's perfect. so urgent that you need to drag me away from my Friday afternoon tea? That dastardly droid, Cedric, a droid. He's back and causing mischief. How? He should be in jail. Not many uh, games, movies mix magic and also um, you know, sci-fi like sci where there's droids and things like that. Very, very few. Well, he's back and what's more, he's taken over all of the old towers from the, t from the time before and he is mind warping everything. That rancorous, repugnant robot. Uh, the Spudlings have gone mad. The Grumpkins are grumpier than usual, and there are reports of, yes, go on, Squirrel Saurus and Micezilla. No way, that's impossible. I wish it were, Billy, old chap. <laughs> Melvin, what should we do? Start with the tower up ahead, get in, collect the stars, and shut off whatever is sending out the mind control signal. <sighs> Today was my day off. Oh, he disappeared. There's the first, oh, you're blocked by rocks. Oh, what are you gonna do? Go to the forest. Quick. This cut. time for camping. How do I get into the campground? You don't have the ax yet. Ugh. Or the, the, the jackhammer. Entering the Crescent Tower. Go for it. Music is astounding. So you have abilities to jump. You want to get all those stars. It takes a little bit to jump. And you can also jump on the bubble, but careful. There's a guy beneath you. You'll burst through the bubble. So you have to time it. Probably not now. Uh, and I don't want to land on him, or I do? You don't. You no. can't. It's not not uh, Super Mario Brothers. It's more Mario Brothers. There you go. Love the narration by James. Well, thank you. It adds to it. I decided not to do the voices. I think I did the voices last time, so I'm not going to do that every time. So you're safe on the mid of, middle of the ladder. Oh, run, run off. Oh, you have to time it really well. And this is tile-based, so you can't be mid-tile. So if you move to the right, you will move a whole tile. James' voice will be used for the audiobook version of Bernie. Excellent. Looking forward to it. Run. Any sound effects? You can get that other star. And then you have two stars to go. I would use the ladders to get that star up on the left. Did we lose music? Nope. Everybody can still hear it, right? I see it coming through. All right. Oh, you can fall off. There you go. You want to time it exactly after he passes. You don't have a lot of time. No. Uh, yeah, it no, I, it's because I pressed... Oh. It's, it's because I thought pulling down was it. Oh, still, uh, oh, I guess we just make our way through this. Um, he gets a little dazed when he falls down, so you got to account for that when you fall as well. Um, so the high score club is also part of this, but it's a timed thing to make it through every level. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to run! Uh, do that. Uh, I'd have to start completely over, but we, we can put in a time. Um, but Can't one of us, would, one, oh. one of us would have to play. Yeah, it, it does wrap around. I I think only bottom to top. I don't think left to right. Like in Pop High. Floor complete. Attempts on this floor Very three. Muscular. Total attempts three. Press fire to continue. I'll have to read up about what the time, when the time starts. And I think usually time starts on um, like speed runs on the first ability to move in the first level of the game. Oh, I should have went for it. I messed up. I messed up! So this guy goes to where you are and then stops when he can't see you. Yeah, I think he's a grump camp. Ah, oh, I messed up! <laughs> I messed the ladder. Sorry, uh, can you wrap one side of the screen to the other? Uh, no. Just top to bottom. Just tried that. 
Everybody can hear the music? Good. Dan Ken. That's a Grumpkin. He looks like a Grumpkin. It's appropriate graphics for a Grumpkin. There we go. Ooh, I think that's not far enough. I think I can do it now. No! Tiles! You betrayed me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I think I want to move that guy a little closer. There we go. That's pretty close. No music. But, uh... Danny VC says he hears it. That's very strange. One person can hear it, but one person can. That's literally impossible. No, it's not impossible because <laughs> something could be wrong with one computer and not the other. <laughs> That's well, they wouldn't be able to hear us. I, are you calling them liars? One of them is a liar. Is that what you're saying? Oh, and no, I'd never say that. That's very strange, money. You can't hear the music. It is in stereo, so it doesn't it isn't a mono thing. That is a possibility. We say we were in stereo and the music was only in one channel, and his left channel was out, so there, really no music. That does not make any sense to me. I, I, I just I don't get it, actually. Anybody else can hear music? Anybody else that can't hear music? Can you hear... Can you hear our voice? Can, you can hear the rest of it, just not the music. That is weird. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I literally cannot explain that. I think those aren't timed, if I remember correctly. What? Um, the platforms. It's just an on-off switch. And then I need to switch it again. And then... Ooh, what do we want to do here? If it doesn't go after me. That's how I can get through. First tower is more of a training tower. Uh, yeah. These are all the... I guess these are all, like, the characters and the things that can exist. Ooh, can I remember how to do that? Get the pair. Um, <clears throat> and I think... We do this one first and not do that. You hold down, is it the jump button? You said? Oh, no, it's the other one. To explode. Explode yourself. There we go. No attempts left. Oh no, it does oh, no. restart. Pain. The pain. Oh, might as well wait for do this while I'm waiting for him. No, not there. You fool! <clears throat> there we go, speed run. Speed run! That's probably the optimal path. Seems like. So you get attempts. I for totally forgot that. I thought it was infinite attempts, but you get a certain number of attempts per tower. And then it kicks you out of the tower. <clears throat> you have to do all of it. All of it again. This time it'll be faster. So I don't know what to do. <clears throat> Still no music, Muddy? Select a theme. hear the jumping like the sound effects or is it literally no music no audio from the game only you guys talking oh we can come down huh i am going to crank up the music and mute
Okay, maybe it's just too too low. I'll I'll turn it up a little bit. I mean, it's too loud now. <clears throat> okay, let's do this the right way this time, and not fall into a pit. There we go. Get this thing down here first, I think. Because if I put this down there, I'm gonna cover that. How do I get this one? Oh my god, I totally forget. Which like, one? Uh, the star down at the bottom. Because he's there the whole time. You fall off. Right? Oh, and then like follow him. Time. I think I messed up. You don't have to follow him. You just have to fall off the edge. And you'll land right on it, and you get it, and then the game, and then the map is done. Uh, but I have to push these, uh, blocks. Why do I have to push these blocks? I think you, I think what I think you I needed to up. do... Oh, I messed up. You needed to get that arrow here, and then push that one on top of it. Yeah. And then you can get that one, and then you can push them. Uh, messed up good. Uh, messed up good. Or maybe the first thing you do is go down and get that star that you just got. Yeah, it is. Yep, you are screwed. That is correct. Okay, let's do this the right way. So, um, okay. get that star. Uh, I'm gonna wait till he just passes it, and then I can jump on it and follow him, and then go back up the ladder. No, the star beside you. Get that one. Damn it. Oh yeah, I should get that one too. That's you have to get it first, and then I think you get the one at the bottom last. No. Oh, why wouldn't you get it last? You fall underneath. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Potion of strength. Oh. And this one. It's been a long time since I've done this. And then don't hit the toilet. And don't hit the guy down there. And move other way. And then uh, there you go. Darcy is correct. That's the only statement Darcy ever needs to hear. Darcy is correct. <laughs> okay, now we've got some sleepy grumpkins. So I want to do this. We get as far away over here as possible. And do this again. And then lead them all the way over here. And go down here. And then I want to. Now what do I do? Can't go to the right. I have to go to the left. Do I have enough time to jump on that? I'm gonna have to. I think I do. And go down the ladder. And then I want to lead. Yes. I want to lead that guy as far to the left as possible. Ah, oh, that wasn't enough time. I didn't get my zombie. Ah. I'll get it this time. Grumpkins. They're, so, they're grumpier than usual. Okay. I'm do this one. Enough time. I do want to do this one. Yeah. I'm going to leave this guy uh, to yeah, this side. Right. Yeah. Come on over here, Grumpkin. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's a pixel away. Mm -hmm. I, the timing could have been better on the bubble area. Tower complete! I never have to do that tower again! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, okay. Next. Da -da 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 -da. Sign reads, no fishing. You can step off a ladder halfway. Push to the side, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, I'll have to try that if there's an opportunity. Uh, no fishing. Queen Russet of the Spudlings. Next turning. Next turning? Next turning? Next turning. Is this the next tower? Uh, the 
this looks so Mario, where a bridge is going to be built up there, I believe. Oh, now we have options. There's a thing there. And there's more over here. Oh, that's the tower. What is this thing? Like? Let's see. Totally forget. So, Bernie, it's... I won't do it. It's good to see you in these troubled times. Crane Russet, I need to cross the Gloom Clumps Brook. Unfortunately, the bridge is damaged. If you can stop the drone from coming to coming from the Twinkle Tower, then my people can repair the bridge for you. Very good, your royal spudliness. I'll get right on it. Well, let's go help her out. Let me give this over to Darcy to play uh -oh. for the first round of this tower. There is a P-O-I down. Point of interest, okay. Yeah. Twinkle Tower. So is the audio a little bit louder for you, the music? Because it's probably because we're talking. So those guys always go to the right. No, nope. turn around and they hit the wall too. And they'll be coming for you. Run! 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 <laughs> True. Uh, I think I'll do that one last. Just because. No! No! Run! Run, Bernie! No! You messed up. Bernie. Why'd you let me down like that? <laughs> I let you down. Let's be honest. Get up! Get up, Bernie! You got squishing to do. No. Oh! No! No! Oh, I so hesitated close. and went the wrong way. <laughs> He's in a panic. He's in a panic. I struggle with this level. I think it's easier than it looks, and it's just... Ah! Oh, my God. It's getting worse. I don't even know what happened to you there. Uh, the guy caught up. It just messed up. RC70 says, I'm pretty sure Twitch has the power to filter music out. Is it possible they're doing that just in your country? It's, it's mixed on my end, so I don't see how that's possible. I mean, anything is possible. You were talking about noise cancelling my Apple eating this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, it's why crazy. this would be more difficult. <laughs> um, yeah, it is possible they could filter out anything that's not in a talking range to an extent. Um, it's easier when the music is in stereo. Seems like it would be, but it's not in stereo. Seems like it would be extra easy with. Um, with eight bit. Oh, I completely forget how to do this one. Okay, there's ice. Throw that at that guy. Mm -hmm. You give that nut to the squirrel. There's a repair thing. There's a thing over there. Nothing! Ah! Ah! Uh -oh. I think I need that repair. The spanner the wrench. It's the British game, so it's a spin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Many funsters in the UK. Ah! Oh. oh my god. No. I think the timing is so you can't do that. You can't sneak in between. This is the easy version. You used to have three enemies. Oh. I like the fact that if you fail, if you lose enough lives, you have to start the tower again. It's a very good punishment. <laughs> I 
because then you just can't just hammer on a level. Oh, I trapped myself again. Wasting all my lives. Looks cool. I'm waiting to take delivery of an Atari 7800. Very nice. This is the time to get a 7800. It is an exciting time. Um, so I should not get that one. I should go here and die. <laughs> oh my god. Wasted so many lives already. Is it lives per tower? I forget. Or is it lives per... Per level. I mean, in the competition, it's going to be about. Um... Ah! <laughs> Got it right. Opposite. The key to this level is stay opposite. Yeah, it's the passing through. Yeah, you want to stay on the complete opposite side, get as many stars as you can, and then pass through them again. So there we go. Pass through. And get on this side again. Yeah, I think I just need to not cut it as close as I can. I probably have like one. one left. Okay, I think I have to get. Oh, what? What is? Susan, I can't help but notice that there's a ranch for the robot, a piece of cheese for the mouse, and uh, an acorn for the squirrel. Yeah. So, yeah, it is lives per tower. Yeah. Five lives below you, so. Oh, there it is. Okay. And when you restart, you restart the whole tower. Is that how it works? Uh, I yeah. guess. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're still good. Special lava flakes for the ice blocks. Okay. And okay. That's, <laughs> that's protected where? by. Well, there's a squirrel. So if I get the nut, can I touch the squirrel? Oh, the, that's. Okay. That's an acorn. It's an acorn for the squirrel. Mm -hmm. There you go, Mr. Squirrel. There's the lava flakes. And there's cheese for the mouse, rat, whatever it is. So let's do that. Can I hold two lava flakes? Oops. Oh, that's what and he now means. Now you can get through the ice cubes. First, oh at some point. I oh, what you need to do is get rid of those yeah. ice cubes and then get back down the ladder. Exactly. Yeah. And then he'll fall to his death. Then I can put, flip the switch <coughs> for the robot. That might be enough. Uh, no, I'm still, I'm still blocked. But, but if you can get all the way to the ice cube and back. How could you not get to the wrench in there? Um, oh, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Oh, you I do eventually have to get have rid to of pop the cube. The bubble, too. Now you flip the spikes off. Oh. I, don't want to do, I don't want to do that. No, you do. Oh, oh yeah, that's me. the star. Okay, yeah. I was thinking you have to lead him to his death. But no, I just have to. He doesn't die on I just spikes. have to not die. I noticed before you died, but he didn't. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. What is that thing there? It's just if you look at it's just wall. That's oh, what all the other wall bits okay. Look like. I thought it was a mechanical. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I I thought maybe it was too. Okay. Panic time. Okay, I can push that. Not yet. You have to get up onto the other side of it before you can push it. Because uh, I'm not strong. Yeah. You can push it on the other side. I'm go all the way down here. 
I believe those disappear as you pass over them. Oh. So I can do this once at least. Go all the way to the top, get the pair. And I need to push that block to the middle bottom. There. Okay. Let's do this. I know I have to get I have to get the pair and then go back around. Okay. And pass over that one. Oh, space. you can cross it three times. Let's get this guy up here. Um, get the pair. Get the last act. Get the star down there. Ooh. Yeah, I'll get that. And use the trick. For speed. I thought it was saying, and I was like, no, don't distract him. Okay. Get your strength potion. Oh, yeah, because the bubble doesn't pop unless I pop it. Okay. So I wait, need wait. to pop it. Oh, yeah, I'll fall down, go back, push yeah. it. Yep. And the, that doesn't matter because. Go. Now we're in the clear. Now we push this down. Oh, do I have to pop the I bubbles you, first? I think you do. Ooh, so, so I... That's, that's easy. You just go on the bubbles and then come back. Okay, that should work. That's like... what, you landed on it last time. Yeah. And that was enough to get rid of it. Okay. There you go. Now... I that, yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. Thank you. I might have seen it. Now yeah. you can drop down on... To... Oh, there's another guy down there. Did we see him before? Yeah. Yeah, he was there. He was just on the right-hand side. How do we get both? Yeah. So do I... I, I just have to do it as fast... Oh, my God! I thought he was glare. Oh, he moves slow. He moves so slow. That's how. He moves slow. So, yeah, you have to follow him the one way. You have to be cheeky about the situation. Yeah. No, not yet, not yet. Because you fall when you do it. Oh, yeah, okay, so I want to do this first. That's far, get that star there. Oh, I can follow it down. I, uh, I'd rather do the timing from the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you... you. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you have to follow him. Yes, to the left yeah. or right. Whichever way you do, you have to follow him. Because he's very slow. Oh, too late! Oh, no, no, no it's not too... He's, he's very so slow. slow. Yeah, okay. He's so slow. Yeah, there we go. And now we have just done. enough time. Nicely done! Thank you! Thank you! One more to do. Okay, there's a mouse. I need to get the cheese for the mouse. Uh, there seems to be a thing that guides me down. I wonder if it goes back up after you uh, right now. I bet it does. And that's the last star I'll probably get after the mouse. I don't think I can do these from this side, because I'd have to follow them and I can't jump fast enough. So I'm going to have to do them from that side and drop them down. How do I drop them down again? There's a lever somewhere. Drop what down? Those There's a lever dudes. under the cheese. Oh, perfect. Okay. And then that makes those uh, and traps them on one side. Okay. Yeah. But there's some stars to get. Should I get them on the way down? Yes. Fall off the end. Wait, is there a weak button or we gonna do? Oh good. Does one at a time. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah. Okay, this one's not not too bad. I think I can possibly get this and then screw it. Want with them on that side. Oh, wait. Oh. No. Oh. That is not what I thought was going to happen. Uh, even better. There we go. Nice bang in the clear. And I've got the cheese for the mouse. This is an easier one than the other one. <laughs> this is easier. This should be put first. Maybe it's because I know what's going it on. It has a new mechanic in it, though. Floor complete. 
so it's supposed to be your a easier. additive. Yeah. Oh, one more. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I had to go through really quick. Okay. So I have to get that star. I could probably do that. He's pretty slow. Then go back. Might actually work in your favor. I can wrap around it. I can make that grunt thing fall off? No, I can't. I'll kill no, him before he you falls can. Off. Go over there, you get on the ladder. Ooh, you think he would? And that's why it hangs in where it is, that's what I think. Because otherwise it leads to nothing. How do I get that la the ladder, though? I'd have to fall through. Okay. Uh, the, the blob that. thing that, you, that you're on right now goes back and forth. He's not following you. He's going back and forth, and he stops at that purple cube. So you follow him in and go down the ladder. That's how you down the ladder. Ooh, that's too tight. Oh, okay, don't play the game. <laughs> that's too tight. Oh, so you think there's some... Is there some other way to get down that ladder? Because that ladder exists. Mm. I don't think it's a red herring. The other way to get down is <laughs> just as hard, actually. So you might be right. Because the other way to get down is that bubble in the bottom right. And you fall through. And you'd have to time it perfectly when he's on the left. And then, you know, so I think I have to go down there. Okay, this is going to be a lot of very tight timing because the bubble is... But you can go across right over to that purple square. Pink uh, square. He goes on that pink square, though. No, he doesn't. You, right over up to it, you can go on. The bubbles don't disappear while you're on them. They disappear I when you move off. Well, I think they don't. Okay. Well, they do. Well, they didn't last time. Ah, uh, run, run, run! Oh my god, that was just lucky because I didn't expect it. They didn't last them. time. Um, it's when you came off. I think it was just It was when you came thing. off on the previous one. Okay, am I screwed now? No. So I can still get to that one. Oh, I screwed myself. <laughs> he's, he's, lost his, he's lost his business, that grumpy and when he was on you there. He's like, ah, 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 ah. Okay. As he should. I can run across. I can definitely get that star. Then I can fall off the left through there. Make sure the grumpy guy goes as close to me as possible. I'm going to have to go fall through that left bubble to get back down and get that star last. Okay, so I fall off that. I want to make sure that green guy is mostly to the left, so I can get that star on the right. Now, I don't know why you I don't think you can get that. I can do the ladder. ladder. Oh, um. I mean, how do you expect to get down the ladder? I think that ladder is. I think that ladder is a red herring. The Grumpkin on Bernie was originally glitched, but it looks like he's nomming on, him, so I left it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so good. Okay. Grumpkin's on the right, and I want to fall through those bubbles, and that'll be my last star. Um, so I want to fall through that bubble on the left there. So wait for him to get to the right. I'm going to give me lots of time. Boom. Boom. And I just need to power to that um, star. There you go. Burning muscle tower complete, yes! Woo! Okay. Total attempt 36. That's sad. Okay. Now we can go back. Talk to. If you go down to the that thing, you can press the button. <laughs> uh, I need to cross it. Oh, you already did that. Okay, never mind. Uh, very good. I'll get right on it. Oh, is that. I didn't do it yet. Okay, I need to do more. I thought defeating that tower would be enough. Bloom Glops Brook, a twinkle tower. Uh -oh. No! Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, it's not yellow, so that's something different. <laughs> Usually it's a yellow screen of death. Oh. Um. 
This is a nice tone. And it crashed. <laughs> mm. So, um, Muddy, is it crashed because I read that sign or is it kind of random? Because to be able to enter my score Already. into the, the purple high screen of victory, <laughs> the high, yes, the purple screen of victory, um, into the competition, I have to finish this game. And if reading that sign goes purple every time, then I just won't read the sign. That's very avoidable. So, uh, so do you know if that's the the sign causes to crash or is sign? it very random? I press the button on the sign. And the sign came up, and then I pressed the button to get exit the sign. That's when it crashed. Which, I don't remember this. I don't, don't said, remember. No, it shouldn't cause the crash. Oh, okay. I remember, uh, I remember the sign now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be random. Okay, well, um, we won't do it now, because we've played enough. Um, I will leave the rest to the people out there to discover the rest of this awesome game. Um, we don't want to give it all away. Red screen would suggest a stack overflow in 7800 basic. Oh, is that red? It's kind of purplish. Um, it was very nice purple. Just one of those things with very early code. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Well, that was you very, very awesome. With early code. I said very early code. Very, did I say very early code? I don't, maybe, I don't, okay. I might have added a word in my brain, I don't know. <laughs> I was still. like, it doesn't seem very early, it seems... <laughs> it's quite a ways along. <laughs> it was, very know, early. I was surprised to find that it was not a complete game. <laughs> very early code would be Bernie wandering around a black screen, <laughs> where you can just control him. And then when he goes to the right, it starts going nuts, because you've done, uh, gone bigger than 255. <laughs> he starts flipping. Yeah, absolutely awesome. The music is really, really good. Really good, yeah. Um, the controls are perfect. Uh, no problems with the controls. The, the puzzles are great. Um, really good. And uh, it takes a minute to figure it out, but you can figure it out. It's not like baffling. It's the right balance, I think, for puzzles. And of course, obviously, it's going to build up harder and harder. And I think the progression is very good. Adding in one thing at a time. And for puzzle games, that's what you want. You want to build on your knowledge of what you've already conquered and just get better. So that's awesome. Uh, Muddy Funster has said he's going to be releasing both of these demo games onto the Atari Age forums after the show. It nice. is now after the show. Well, almost. Um, <laughs> and so let's take a look at what's coming up on the show. And... Um, see what games are coming up i don't know if i filled it anything in i've been just barely catching up to everything as time has passed um so that's today burning tower doom and rt i have to reflect those those are in the wrong order um i don't know if we'll be doing jag we might be doing 2600 day next mm, might be able to find some 2600 um oh my god somebody needs to replace their belt that is squealy. Yes, t less than 28 days to PRGE. Very excited. That starts on the 13th. Technically the 13th on the Friday. Um, so a month minus two days. Very looking forward to that. So many games being released there. Uh, lots of people from the Atari Age community are going to be there. Um, a bunch of developers too. Um yes absolutely dan great games um let's see what else we are i am going to be playing bernie and the tower of doom and arty again in after dark um probably early next week the the it closes on tuesday for entering your scores in um and i believe these new versions are going to be allowed for the scores or they're going to be officially counted as the versions to enter in scores. Yep, see you there, Steve. Um, actually, coming up, uh, we have an exclusive world premiere of Doom Slayer Edition for the Jaguar, and it looks awesome. From Cyrano J and a whole bunch of other people. Uh, we have the light gun special. I don't... That 
Oh, yeah, it's probably going to be on the 26th. I've got it scheduled in for the 26th. Um, so we're going to be playing all the light gun games on that Tuesday. We're setting up a Commodore Moderner right in front of us. Aiming the gun at that. Uh, we'll be switching out all the different consoles. We're going to be playing 2600, 7800, and 8-bit uh, systems because they all have light gun games. We're going to be concentrating on homebrew light gun games. And we have an exclusive world premiere of Ducks Away um, from Smitty B. That's going to be very cool. It's uh, a light gun game as well. Uh, we are going to be at PRGE from the 13th to the 15th. We're going to be streaming live from there. Um, we'll see what we stream live. We're going to be at the Atari Age booth. We're going to be at the Champ Games booth. We'll go visit John Hancock as well. Uh, we'll be talking with uh, viewers of the show. We'll be talking with everybody who's there. We'll be giving out stickers. So definitely make sure you come up to me. Do not be shy. <laughs> I will give you a sticker. You can just say sticker and that's minimum. You can do that and <laughs> I will hand you a sticker um, or you can talk with me. Um, I'd love to get photos with everyone, with Tanya and I and you. I don't know who's going to hold the camera. Cats, you'll have to come with us. One of you is going to have to operate the camera. Yeah? They don't seem interested. Bring a tripod. Eh. Eh. Bring I actually a tripod. might. Eh. I actually might. They it's fold the up. Eh. They, fo <laughs> eh. they fold up pretty good because I'm bringing um, the webcam and just plug it into the laptop for our broadcasts. And the webcam has a screw on. So that will work. And uh, the camera is too. As so long as you can see the screen to see that you're in frame. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll be able to see. Scat, cats fold up. Do you fold up? They do. They fold up real good. Uh, Sprite does especially. His favorite place is a little bowl that he's slept in since he was a kitten, and he curls up into like a ball that big. So they fit in luggage. But we're driving down, so it's not even a problem. Um, but I wouldn't trust these cats loose in the car. <laughs> They'd be on the windshield, meowing and screaming and running around. Look at the look at that. Did the prospect of him being in the car is frightening him. Uh, pizza. Yeah, we're going to go out for dinner. I haven't planned of us going out for dinner, but we might have a dinner because we went for pizza last time. But we definitely have a meetup. Do I have it in there? No, I don't. But there is a meetup. Um, let's go to that. Home. Where is the events? Portland Retro Gaming Expo, uh, Atari Age, ZPH, PRGE Meetup at Ground Control. It is on the Saturday, uh, October 14th. Um, so the second day of the event. We'll be there at 8 p.m. to closing, playing video games. Having fun, having drinks, sitting around. And uh, Tanya and I will be there. And a whole bunch of other people are going to be there as well. So uh, definitely uh, meet us there. Um, even if you don't see us at PRGE wandering around, you can meet up with us at Ground Control. It is available via transit. Or you can uh, hire a transportation to get there. It's not that far to get there. Um, rail transportation is 15 minutes and probably even quicker. The area is kind of... Yeah, so you might want to opt to be dropped off right in front of ground control instead of taking the light rail. Cheaper light rail, but that's yeah, up to you. Um, what else? Oh, I already switched. Oh, that's good enough. Um, so lots of fun things coming up. What do you think of the games today, Dars? They're really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, really fun. Um, Artie is an awesome homage to Hero. It surpasses Hero. It has more things in it. Better controls. Awesome graphics. Yeah, the controls were they were so good that like I never felt like I needed to blame the controls. Yeah, for... <laughs> he was you're zooming ahead thinking you're master of the controls. Because right. they're they're that good. Because they're that good, yeah. Yeah, they're super slick. And uh, Bernie is a lot of fun and super I cute. never ran into a bad guy because the controls failed me. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You never 
want to struggle with the controls on a game. That is the last thing you want. And with Hero, I find I do. I'm constantly like, ah, get fly, ah, and you have to time the pausing and everything. Um, and same with uh, Bernie. Controls are perfect and masterful. So they're all good. Hey, cats. Meow. 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 Like, show's over. Meow. So thanks for watching. Uh, Tanya's away as of today. She'll be back. Not this Tuesday. No. Careful. Don't freak out the cat. There's water there. I know. And it's tipped on the edge of it. It was uh... so close. <laughs> um, so I'll be doing uh, After Darks next week. Just playing what I want. Getting some high scores. Because normally he doesn't play what he I'm wants. I'm forced to play these forced games. For, oh, uh, oh, other people are dictating uh, me. Why? Uh, play? It's just not fair. Muddy, why? Why the did you make this? so cruel. <laughs> um, no, I'd be going to try and get some high scores. We'll probably do a regular show on Tuesday. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what comes up. I may skip one if nothing big comes up. It's kind of a lull right now. It's still kind of end of summer. And people still reeling from all the news and they're like, ah, um, <laughs> deciding what to do with their games, I think. Um, but we'll be, I'll be definitely playing like random times, just, just jumping in and I'll be asking probably the chat, which games I should play for the high score, because I've got a whole bunch of Activision games up here and there's a bunch of homebrew games. I still need to get high scores on as well, not high scores. But um, the patch, patch scores. And your own programming? How far is your game? Uh, it's, it's poor. It's bad. <laughs> In my mind, it's done. <laughs> I know what I need to do and how to do it, just sitting down and doing it. I foolishly started another YouTube channel and doing videos for that. <laughs> so uh, I have to do that. I have to finish the PRGE videos from 2022 before... 2023 happens uh that's the goal so i'll be doing that this weekend finishing off the two i have left unless there's three and i miscounted but there's two left i need to do muddy funsters and another one um um and i'm doing a non-game first a demo so that's what i'm doing first then i'll move on to joystick input and decision making based on the joystick input which is not much of a step from a demo um, and you're very welcome, Muddy uh, Lewis. Muddy Lewis. Lewis slash Muddy Funster. <laughs> um, anytime. Your games are so good, and I love playing them. So anytime you want me to play an update, we're there for you. We'll play your games. Uh, these games are astounding. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all the announcements. We'll be back. Darcy will be back in two weeks. When will that be? When will that be? Let's just see that. It's on 29th. Ooh. 29th. Nothing planned yet. But there'll be games. There will be games. There will be games. Oh. So, thanks for hanging out with us. Muddy Funster, Man of the Hour, Thrust26, Dan, APC, S. Ramirez, Vitoko, uh, Smitty B. Metal Lunar 7, Mark Johannes, uh, Glitker, RC70, uh, uh, same people talking, uh, new name, where, 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 Shrapnel21, Ivory Tower Collections, Jedekai, and that's the top. Some silent watchers. So we'll see you um, at a random time next week. Maybe on Tuesday, but definitely before that and after that. Maybe during that. Maybe on Tuesday. So see ya. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next week. Bye-bye.